On both of those, thank you, Mark. There's growing concern among some family members of students at Wiley East Elementary School. They want to see a school zone in that area. And as KTEX's reporter Lauren Sierra tells us, they want the city of Abilene to do something about it. Got to the intersection and went to make a right turn and nearly had a head on. The lady going down the road the wrong way about 40 miles an hour. After a near head-on collision while driving his grandson in the backseat of his car, Kenneth Woodard decided enough was enough when it came to the traffic on the streets outside of Wiley East Elementary School. Woodard says staff at the school does a great job of organizing traffic within the school's driveway, but it's outside of the school where things become dangerous. Maple Street and Colony Road lack a school zone designation, and Woodard can't get a straight answer as to why. TxDOT's pointing the finger to the city, the city's pointing it to TxDOT, the school board is pointing it at everybody, and nobody seems to know who's responsible. This prompted Woodard to do some research of his own. He learned that within the city limits, the city of Abilene is responsible for designating school zones. This explains why Wiley East Junior High, which is just up the road but outside of the city limits, had a school zone put in by TxDOT. We are to the point now where we've done all of our research, and it looks as though the city has to start this thing. Uh, but we don't know why they haven't done it yet. Kim McMillan, principal at Wiley East Elementary, has heard concern from others in the school's community. Well, I did have parents, uh, they call me from time to time. I get several calls wanting a school zone, a crosswalk, um, those different things, just to kind of get the traffic to slow down more than anything. Um, so their kid, they feel like that their kids are safe. According to Woodard's research, the city evaluated the area for a school zone designation in 2019, but found it unnecessary due to a lack of foot traffic. However, Woodard says TxDOT's guidelines also advise taking regular traffic into account. You know, may not be enough people walking up and down the sidewalk, but we sure do have enough irregular traffic trying to get in and out of there. Woodard says that he's not trying to throw anyone under the bus. He's just trying to make sure no child gets hurt. The way the traffic flows coming out of the school, there's, it's a controlled wreck basically every, every afternoon. In Abilene, I'm Lauren Sierra, KTexas News.